Have you ever wondered what it truly means to be a Sigma woman? These fierce and independent queens navigate life on their own terms, often facing unique challenges that can leave them feeling severely damaged. In today's discussion, we're diving deep into the nine weird signs that might indicate a Sigma woman is struggling beneath her strong exterior. As my ladies, you know that Sigma females often wear many masks, concealing their vulnerabilities while projecting an image of strength. However, there are subtle signs that reveal when this facade begins to crack. Understanding these signs not only helps us support ourselves, but also our fellow queens who may be silently battling their own demons. Many Sigma women have experienced a lifetime of feeling different, misunderstood, or even ostracized. This sense of isolation can lead to a distorted self-image, making it crucial for us to recognize when these feelings escalate into something more severe. By identifying these signs, we can foster a community of support and understanding among ourselves. It's important to remember that being a Sigma woman means embracing individuality and resilience. Yet, even the strongest among us can experience moments of weakness. So, let's explore these signs together, ensuring that we remain vigilant in our self-awareness and compassionate towards others who may be struggling. As we delve into this topic, I invite you to reflect on your own experiences. Have you ever felt like you were losing touch with your true self? Or perhaps you've noticed a friend or fellow queen exhibiting behaviors that seem out of character. These are the moments that can serve as wake-up calls, prompting us to take action and seek support. In our journey through life, it's essential to recognize that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a part of the human experience. Sigma women, in particular, may feel pressured to maintain a strong front, but acknowledging our struggles is the first step toward healing. Together, we can create a safe space to discuss these issues openly, fostering growth and resilience within our community. So, grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and let's unravel the complexities of the Sigma woman's experience. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand these signs, but also feel empowered to embrace your authenticity and support your fellow queens in their journeys. As we embark on this exploration, keep in mind the principles of stoicism that guide us. Embracing the idea that we can control our reactions to external events can be a powerful tool for Sigma women. By recognizing the signs of damage, we can take proactive steps to reclaim our strength and authenticity. Now, let's dive into the nine weird signs of a severely damaged Sigma woman. Each sign serves as a reminder that we are not alone in our struggles and that it's okay to seek help and understanding. Together, we will navigate this intricate landscape, shedding light on the challenges Sigma women face while celebrating our unique strengths. Remember, my ladies, knowledge is power, and by understanding these signs, we can uplift one another and create a more supportive community. One, extreme emotional walls, the ultimate fortress of a damaged Sigma woman. We are Sigma females, queens who thrive on independence and inner strength. But when a Sigma woman is severely damaged, her ability to trust and connect with others becomes almost non-existent. This manifests in building extreme emotional walls that go beyond the typical boundaries we set to protect our peace. These walls are not just barriers, they're fortresses fortified by past betrayals, heartbreaks, and traumas that cut deep into our souls. Imagine a fortress so impenetrable that no one can break through, not friends, not family, not even potential partners. We Sigma females become so guarded that we shut ourselves off from the world, ensuring that no one gets close enough to hurt us again. It's not just about being selective, it's about an all-out refusal to engage in anything that requires vulnerability. Our conversations become superficial, our relationships transactional, and our interactions strictly controlled. We might seem composed and together on the outside, but inside, there's a constant war between the desire to be understood and the fear of being exposed. This is where stoicism comes into play, as it teaches us the value of self-preservation and the strength found in maintaining control over our emotions. But when we are severely damaged, we take this to an extreme, mistaking isolation for strength and detachment for peace. However, this fortress can become our own prison. We might start to feel the weight of loneliness, the suffocating silence of our own making. 
The world outside our walls might seem chaotic and unpredictable, but within, it's a cold and empty space. To our queens reading this, if you've built such a fortress, ask yourself, are you truly protecting yourself, or are you just hiding from the potential to heal and grow? Embracing vulnerability doesn't mean you have to let your guard down completely. It means recognizing when your fortress has become a cage. 2. The Ice Queen Complex – An Overdose of Stoic Detachment As Sigma females, we naturally embody a certain level of detachment, a trait that allows us to navigate the world with poise and resilience. But when emotional damage takes root, this detachment can transform into what I like to call the Ice Queen Complex. We become cold, distant, and emotionally unavailable to the point where others might see us as unfeeling or even heartless. This is not the typical cool composure of a Sigma woman. This is the result of being hurt so deeply that the only way to cope is by numbing ourselves to everything around us. We become emotionally disconnected, not just from others, but also from ourselves. Our feelings get buried so deep that even we lose touch with them, leaving us to operate on autopilot, going through the motions of life, without truly living. This extreme detachment is a defensive mechanism, a way to protect our hearts from further pain. Stoicism teaches us the importance of not being ruled by our emotions, but in our damaged state, we take it too far. We suppress our feelings to the point where we start to feel nothing at all, believing that this is the only way to survive in a world that has hurt us one too many times. But my ladies, this emotional numbness comes at a cost. While it might seem like a way to maintain control, it actually robs us of our humanity. We become so focused on avoiding pain that we also shut out joy, love, and connection, the very things that make life worth living. So, if you find yourself slipping into this ice queen complex, it's time to thaw out those frozen emotions. Allow yourself to feel again, even if it's just a little at first. Remember, true strength lies not in the absence of emotion, but in our ability to embrace it without being overwhelmed. 3. Hyperindependence when self-reliance becomes isolation. We Sigma females pride ourselves on being fiercely independent. We handle our own business, make our own decisions, and rely on no one but ourselves. But when we're severely damaged, this independence can escalate into hyper-independence, a state where we refuse help, reject support, and isolate ourselves to an unhealthy degree. In our minds, we tell ourselves that no one can be trusted, that we're better off doing everything on our own. We convince ourselves that needing others is a sign of weakness, that accepting help is equivalent to admitting defeat. This hyper-independence becomes our armor, shielding us from the potential disappointment of relying on someone else. Stoicism teaches us to be self-sufficient, to find strength within ourselves rather than in external sources. But in our damaged state, we misinterpret this philosophy, pushing it to the extreme. We isolate ourselves, believing that we are protecting our peace when, in reality, we are depriving ourselves of the human connection that we all need to thrive. My queens, while independence is indeed a powerful trait, it's important to recognize when it becomes a barrier to our own well-being. There is no shame in asking for help or in admitting that we can't do it all on our own. True strength lies in our ability to recognize our limits and to allow others to support us when we need it. Don't let hyper-independence turn into isolation. Open yourself up to the possibility of connection, even if it's just one small step at a time. 4. Distrust of happiness, a cynical view of joy. When a Sigma woman is severely damaged, she may develop a deep-seated distrust of happiness. We become cynical, questioning the validity of our joy and the sincerity of those who bring it into our lives. We start to believe that happiness is fleeting, that it's only a matter of time before the rug is pulled out from under us. This distress stems from past experiences where joy was quickly followed by pain, where happiness felt like a trap that led to disappointment. As a result, we start to guard ourselves against happiness, believing that if we don't allow ourselves to feel it, we won't have to deal with the pain of losing it. Stoicism teaches us to remain even-keeled, to not let our highs get too high or our lows too low. But in our damaged state, we take this to the extreme, suppressing any sense of joy out of fear that it will be taken away. 
We become suspicious of good things, convinced that they're too good to be true. My ladies, this cynical view of happiness can rob us of the very experiences that make life rich and meaningful. While it's true that nothing lasts forever, that doesn't mean we should deny ourselves the pleasure of the present moment. Happiness, like all emotions, is fleeting, but that doesn't make it any less valuable. Embrace it when it comes, savor it, and let it remind you that life is full of both joy and sorrow. Don't let your past rob you of your future. Allow yourself to experience happiness without the shadow of doubt. Five, perfectionism as a mask, hiding behind flawlessness. Perfectionism is often seen as a positive trait, a sign of high standards and a strong work ethic. But for a severely damaged Sigma woman, it becomes a mask, a way to hide our vulnerabilities and insecurities behind a facade of flawlessness. We convince ourselves that if we can just be perfect, we won't be judged, hurt, or rejected. We strive for perfection in every area of our lives, our appearance, our work, our relationships, believing that if we can just get it all right, we'll be safe from criticism and failure. But this pursuit of perfection is exhausting, and it's never enough. We're constantly chasing an unattainable standard, setting ourselves up for disappointment and self-criticism. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we cannot. But in our damaged state, we become obsessed with controlling every aspect of our lives, believing that perfection is the only way to protect ourselves. We forget that perfection is an illusion, that it's our imperfections that make us human and relatable. My queens, it's time to let go of the need to be perfect. Embrace your flaws, your mistakes, and your imperfections. They're part of what makes you unique and beautiful. Perfectionism may seem like a shield, but it's actually a burden that weighs us down and prevents us from living authentically. Remember, you are enough just as you are, and your worth is not determined by your ability to be flawless. All right, queens, pause those victory laps for a moment because we've got something epic to celebrate, the amazing stoicism for her community we're building together. Every like, comment, and share you give is like rocket fuel for this journey. You all are the reason I love sharing the power of stoicism with badass Sigma females. But hang on, boss ladies. We're halfway through our journey, and before we dive back into conquering your true self with stoicism, we need a quick break for a message from our supporters. Think of it as sharpening your inner Sigma sword for the next challenge. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We'll be back in no time to unveil the next chapter of Sigma Female Mastery. 6. Chronic Overthinking – The Mental Spiral of a Damaged Sigma Woman Overthinking, for many, is a natural response to life's uncertainties, a way to prepare for what lies ahead. But for a severely damaged Sigma woman, overthinking becomes a chronic condition, relentless mental spiral that consumes our every waking moment. This isn't just a fleeting thought here and there, it's a deep-rooted pattern of analyzing, reanalyzing, and then analyzing some more. Every situation, every conversation, every decision is picked apart, examined from every possible angle, and scrutinized to the point of exhaustion. We believe that by overthinking, we are protecting ourselves, that by anticipating every possible outcome, we can shield ourselves from future pain. But the reality is far more damaging. Instead of finding clarity, we often find ourselves trapped in a web of our own making, where the threads of doubt, fear, and anxiety wrap tighter and tighter around us. We become paralyzed by our thoughts, unable to move forward, constantly second-guessing ourselves and our decisions. This mental spiral is exhausting, draining our energy, and leaving us in a state of perpetual anxiety. We doubt our instincts, question our worth, and lose confidence in our ability to navigate the world. The worst part is that overthinking often leads to inaction. We become so consumed by the what-ifs and maybes that we forget to live in the present, to trust ourselves, and to take action. Stoicism, my queens, teaches us the importance of mindfulness, of staying grounded in the present moment. But in our damaged state, we become prisoners of our own minds, endlessly replaying past events, 
worrying about future possibilities and neglecting the here and now. This constant mental noise drowns out our inner voice, the one that knows what we need and what we want. If you find yourself trapped in this cycle of overthinking, it's time to break free. Trust in your ability to handle whatever life throws your way. Trust your instincts. They've guided you this far and they won't fail you now. Overthinking is not a form of protection. It's a form of self-sabotage, a way of keeping you stuck in a place of fear and uncertainty. Take a deep breath, quiet your mind, and remind yourself that you don't need to have all the answers right now. Life is meant to be lived, not overanalyzed. Let go of the need to control every outcome and allow yourself to live in the moment. 7. The disconnection from joy, numbing ourselves to avoid pain. In the aftermath of severe emotional damage, many of us, as Sigma women, begin to disconnect from joy. It's a subtle shift at first. Perhaps we stop finding pleasure in things that once brought us happiness, or we start avoiding situations that might make us feel too much. We convince ourselves that by numbing our emotions, we're protecting ourselves from further pain. But over time, this disconnection becomes more profound, more ingrained, until we find ourselves living in a state of emotional numbness. We go through the motions of life, waking up, going to work, interacting with others, but it all feels hollow, empty. We've become so accustomed to protecting ourselves from pain that we also shut ourselves off from joy. We tell ourselves it's better to feel nothing than to risk being hurt again, but in doing so, we rob ourselves of the very experiences that make life worth living. This disconnection from joy is a form of self-preservation, yes, but it's also a form of self-imprisonment. We become spectators in our own lives, watching from the sidelines instead of fully participating. We miss out on the laughter, the love, the excitement, the wonder, those fleeting moments that make life rich and meaningful. As Sigma women, we are naturally introspective and Stoicism teaches us to maintain a balanced perspective, to not be swayed by the highs and lows of life. But when we are severely damaged, we take this to the extreme. We numb ourselves not just to the bad, but to the good as well. We forget that joy, like all emotions, is temporary and that it's worth experiencing even if it doesn't last forever. My queens, if you find yourself disconnected from joy, if you've built walls around your heart to protect yourself from pain, it's time to start tearing them down. Reconnect with the things that bring you happiness, no matter how small they may seem. Allow yourself to feel, really feel, the full spectrum of human emotion. Laugh until your sides hurt, cry when you need to, and embrace the beauty of life in all its messy, unpredictable glory. Don't let fear rob you of the moments that make life beautiful. Joy is not something to be feared or avoided. It's a gift, one that reminds us that life is not just about surviving. It's about thriving. It's about experiencing the highs and lows, the love and the loss, the laughter and the tears. Embrace the joy when it comes, my queens, and let it remind you that life, with all its ups and downs, is worth every moment. Let joy be your guide, your light in the darkness, and let it lead you back to the fullness of life. 8. Emotional Detachment – The Armor of a Severely Damaged Sigma Woman As Sigma women, we pride ourselves on our independence, our resilience, and our ability to navigate life on our own terms. But when we become severely damaged, these strengths can morph into something much darker – emotional detachment. What begins as a protective mechanism, a way to shield ourselves from further pain, can harden into an impenetrable armor that isolates us from others and, more importantly, from ourselves. Emotional detachment isn't just about shutting out negative emotions, it's about shutting down entirely. We convince ourselves that we don't need anyone, that we're better off alone, and that relying on others is a sign of weakness. We build walls around our hearts so high and so thick that even we can't break them down. And while this detachment may protect us from immediate hurt, it also prevents us from experiencing the deep connections that make life meaningful. In our damaged state, we may find ourselves avoiding intimate relationships, distancing ourselves from friends and family, and refusing to let anyone get too close. We tell ourselves that we're fine on our own, that we don't need anyone's help, but the truth is that we're terrified of being vulnerable. 
We're afraid that if we let someone in, they'll see the cracks in our armor, the wounds that we've tried so hard to hide, and they'll use them against us. Stoicism teaches us the importance of self-reliance, but it also teaches us the value of connection, of being part of a community, and of supporting and being supported by others. In our damaged state, we lose sight of this balance, retreating into ourselves and shutting out the world. We forget that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a strength, that allowing ourselves to be seen, truly seen, is one of the bravest things we can do. My ladies, if you find yourself emotionally detached, it's time to start breaking down those walls. Allow yourself to feel, to connect, and to let others in. It's okay to be vulnerable, to show your true self, and to ask for help when you need it. Emotional detachment may feel like a safe haven, but it's also a lonely one. Don't let fear keep you isolated. Open your heart, trust in the goodness of others, and allow yourself to experience the deep connections that bring joy and meaning to life. 9. Self-Sabotage the subconscious acts of a severely damaged Sigma woman. Self-sabotage is one of the most insidious behaviors that a severely damaged Sigma woman can engage in. On the surface, it may seem like we're doing everything right, pursuing our goals, building our careers, and striving for success. But underneath it all, there's a part of us that doesn't believe we deserve happiness, love, or success, and so we sabotage our own efforts, often without even realizing it. Self-sabotage can take many forms. Perhaps we procrastinate on important tasks, leaving things to the last minute and then scrambling to get them done. Maybe we engage in negative self-talk, convincing ourselves that we're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough of success. Or perhaps we push people away, ruining relationships before they even have a chance to flourish because deep down, we don't believe we deserve love. This behavior is often rooted in a deep sense of unworthiness, a belief that no matter what we do, we will never be enough. We fear success because it means we'll have to live up to expectations, our own and others. We fear love because it requires vulnerability and we're terrified of getting hurt. So we sabotage ourselves, creating obstacles in our own path and then blaming the world for our failures. Stoicism teaches us to recognize and challenge our destructive thoughts, to understand that our worth is not defined by external success or the approval of others, but by our own inner virtues. Yet, when we are severely damaged, we lose sight of this truth. We become our own worst enemy, undermining our efforts and setting ourselves up for failure. My queens, if you recognize self-sabotage in your life, it's time to confront it head-on. Acknowledge the ways in which you're holding yourself back and challenge the beliefs that are driving this behavior. You are worthy of success, of love, and of happiness. Don't let fear or doubt keep you from achieving your full potential. Embrace your strengths, forgive yourself for your mistakes, and take bold steps toward the life you deserve. Self-sabotage is not your destiny. It's a pattern that can be broken, a habit that can be unlearned. The first step is believing that you are worth the effort. As we wrap up today's discussion on the nine weird signs of a severely damaged Sigma woman, I hope you've gained valuable insights into the complexities of our experiences. Remember, my queens, acknowledging these signs in ourselves or others is the first step toward healing and empowerment. It's crucial to foster a sense of community among Sigma women. By sharing our stories and supporting one another, we can create a safe haven where vulnerability is met with compassion. If you've recognized any of these signs in yourself, don't hesitate to reach out for support. You are not alone in this journey. As we navigate the challenges of life, let's remember the stoic principles that guide us. Embracing our emotions while maintaining control over our reactions can be a powerful tool. It's okay to feel, but it's essential to channel those feelings into constructive actions that promote healing and growth. If you found today's discussion enlightening, I encourage you to reflect on how you can apply these insights in your own life. Whether it's reaching out to a friend or taking time for self-care, every small step counts. Your well-being is a priority, and recognizing when you need help is a sign of strength. For those of you who resonated with the signs we discussed, I invite you to share your experiences in the comments. Your stories can inspire and uplift other queens who may be facing similar challenges. Together, we can break the stigma surrounding mental health 
and create a supportive community. As we continue to explore the Sigma personality archetype, I encourage you to stay engaged with our channel, Stoicism for Her. We'll delve deeper into the nuances of being a Sigma woman and how we can navigate life with grace and resilience. Thank you for joining me today, my ladies. Your presence here is a testament to your strength and commitment to personal growth. Let's keep this conversation going and support one another in our journeys towards self-discovery and empowerment. If you enjoyed this video, consider sharing it with your fellow queens. The more we spread awareness about the challenges Sigma women face, the more we can foster understanding and compassion in our communities. Remember, you are powerful, you are unique, and you are worthy of love and support. Until next time, keep shining brightly, and let's continue to uplift one another as we navigate the complexities of life together. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions on Stoicism for Her, where we empower each other to embrace our Sigma identities and thrive in a world that often tries to box us in. Your journey matters, and I'm honored to be part of it. Take care, my queens, and remember that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. Let's keep striving for authenticity and resilience in our lives. See you in the next video.